And we've got wet weather. It's also the second of our leader handicap races. So the top five in the championship can't qualify. Let's run through who those people are now. I'm just loading up the table. So we've got WRT EDU STM in first, followed by AA. AMH Racing in second, third is NGR Fraser, fourth NGR Martin and fifth WLT Scott McFall. So none of those will be able to qualify in the qualifying session. Um, it's light rain in the qualifying as well, so we'll make things a bit more tricky. Uh, we had rain here last uh, in the last season as well, so it seems to be one of those tracks that likes to attract the wet. But let's get qualifying underway. Everyone just leaving to get their outlooks done as usual get involved in the YouTube chat we are missing a few of the drivers tonight as well hopefully they will join the lobby Thankfully, with the track being short, it won't take very long to get the outlaps done. And conditions will get worse as the qualifying goes on. So it is, as NGR Lee is now out on track putting down the times, it's much better to get it done earlier rather than later. And I think what the top five are going to do as well, they're going to go out and they're going to set sort of slow time. So uh, fifth in the table will, will set sort of the highest of it around two minutes or something like that. And then um, fourth will set like 2.05 and so on until first just set to a very slow lap time. So it just starts them in the race ahead of one another. So NGR late. Out on his time lap now. out on track won't be able to set a, a fast lap time stick with NGR Lee though see what time he puts in considering it's light rain it's very very wet goes fair for 116 Airtel looks like he's coming to cross the line as well uh, WRT Fabras who's I feel it just ahead of NGR Lee at the moment. Jamie F430 into third as well. Uh, web user Johnny, uh, new to league as well. Last week was his first race. So he's currently in fourth. Uh, Airtel still to put a time in. No boy Raxa, still to put a time in. He's just cruising along at the moment. Not sure why he's not putting in a time. Don't recall saying him in the top five. Uh, Boy Raxu is in the top six at the moment, so not entirely sure why he's not putting in a faster time than that. We'll see if it improves though. Uh, no change at the top. 
It's going to be increasingly hard now for anyone really to beat uh, Favrez's time. Oh, overshooting it there, a little bit Favrez. There is going to be 10 minutes of the qualifying session left. I really don't think that anyone's going to be able to challenge Fabres now. The track will just get wetter and wetter. It'll be interesting if anyone does, though. They could prove me wrong. So let's just compare the times there of the last lap. So NGR late. It's last, he's not too far off it. Off his times there, actually. Jimmy for 30 did his best lap. So I don't know, maybe, maybe we could see an improvement. Actually, he's just crossed the line again, so let's have a look at that one. Oh, 317, so he's obviously had a bit of an off moment there, Jamie, on his last lap. Uh, boy, Rax is staying in the pits, I mean, again. He could probably improve on his time, though, if he went back out on track, move a bit further up the field. There's current championship lead just cruising around he won't be setting any fast times and he's battling on though let's see what this lap time he does so it was a 118 so yeah, it does look like lap times are now getting slower. Do think that, uh, I don't know, the light rain option in Project Cars just, just seems to be a bit too much rain. I mean, it's not really light rain if you were standing outside there you wouldn't say it was light rain it actually reminds me of the British GT at Alton Park last year where well, pardon my French but it absolutely pissed down and to be honest the spray was just as bad as you see in here Favrez is now leaving the pits again. I mean, it's good to stay out, even though you're not going to improve your lap times. So it's just get used to the conditions. There is 25 laps of this, so. forward it, it might be an idea to run qualifying in dry conditions and then have the race in the in the weather conditions so like I say pretty much after 
the first couple of outlaps there's not really a lot anyone can do to to battle for pole He just needs to set a slower time than AMH. Just under five minutes to go of the qualifying. Horrible conditions out there. So Bully Rack's out. I'm sure you'll be able to put in better times as well. view so this is an outlap for him we'll stay on board with boy Raxa for this lap actually we'll just see how horrible it is Back end nearly come out in there, he's kept it going though. Susan's pit in. Just message him Ben now, just to uh, tell him that if he wants to go faster, he can't mean pretty much at the end of qualifying now, so I don't think he's going to be able to do anything. Just go the last laps. So, yeah, times are, are dropping. It's definitely. And not forget, there's 25 laps of this as well, so the conditions are only going to get worse and worse.
Toronto. Edu is setting time. Scott hasn't though. So that means actually Edu will start in front of Scott. So just discussions going in. I, th I think Ben thought that he wasn't able to put a, a better qualifying time in. That's a shame for him, really. Phila Fabrez gets the, the bonus point for pole. So let's get the race underway. Hopefully we'll have some more action now than what we did in that qualifying session. So we're just at the ready up screen. I imagine everyone will be choosing stable So just look, no, Benji couldn't put in a lap time, actually, he is in the top five. So Fabres is going to have the inside line for the first corner. But that does mean braking slightly heavier. And that, that will give NGR Lee the inside for second corner which is probably where you want to be hopefully people won't take too long to ready up Taking a long time. There we go. So round six of the Cleo Cup. Let's get underway. There's AMH and Boy Rax in the red in the distance there, moving out. NGR Lee has moved into first, so he's got a good drive there. He's going to hold the outside line. Jamie Fluffy also trying to get involved in this now. Fabrez snuck back into first, then GR Lee back into first now. That is a very, very treacherous track. It's going to be hard for these guys to battle. Top three pretty much sticking together though. Tell you has made good progress here if the camera decides to catch back up to him is WRT Edu who's going to fourth. Not forgetting he started at the back, so very good driving from him so far. WRT Fabres 21 here go moves out he's now going to have the outside line for the corner I've got a little 
bit of lag in the lobby tonight as well, so the cars do jitter about. It's not the driving. He has edged just in front as well into first place. And Jolly slots behind him. Not really. Oh, Jamie Apple 30 really close to him here. Before he goes on the dirt there, that will definitely unsettle the car. And we're charging Edu behind you. You don't really want to lose any time. Boy, Rocks are making some good progress here as well. side of web user Johnny he's made it through and John Martin also there as well web user Johnny holding on at the moment now boy Rats are going to have the inside line for the next corner AMH is also very close in this fight as well just provide Angela Martin to get past though oh web user Johnny going very wide there Amazingly holds on to sixth spot though. Uh, Scott McFall down in tenth at the moment. Oh, get very close to each other there. Is AMH going to try and go down the inside? Oh, they touch. Avenger Martin here going down the inside, Feather in the throttle. AMH side by side, AMH has got in front of him. Shadow Stalker, DBS coming into this fight as well. Oh, now is that a slowdown issue to AMH? Not too sure about that, but NGR Martin right in front of him. Oh, AMH goes on the grass, that's going to unsettle the car. Gets going, he's got a charging Scott McFall coming behind him now as well. Oh, AMH connects with Shadow Stalker DBS, they both go off. Not too sure what happened there. Back at the front, Jamie F430, just in front of the WRT Edu. Just see how difficult the conditions are to race in here. Maybe using Johnny running very well in fifth. Holding off the advancement of Boy Racks at the moment. And then behind him here come NGR Martin, WRT Scott McFall and AMH. Oh, NGR Martin makes a slight mistake there. That allows Scott McFall to go past. Oh, Ayatel going off. Rally cross in there. AMH can have the inside line for the corner. And John Martin still stays in front though. Oh, 
boy Raxon out as he still tries to get Powell needs to be careful the curbs that the last thing you need on this track is an unsettled car Web user Johnny very impressive defence drive coming from him this week just caught WRT just going off a little bit on the track there he definitely won't find any grip on the grass oh he's got down the side of Jamie though it wasn't enough in it. it did look like from that camera angle he had got down the side and just a little bit more though Now we see Boy Raxa, I think he's going to manage to get past him this time. He's got the inside line for the corner. Yeah, Boy Raxa has made it into fifth. Just about, though. Web user Johnny is sticking with him. OK, Boy Raxa has got in front. Much later on the brakes there, Boy Racks are much more confident with the car. It did show, and now Web user Johnny has got WRT Scott McFall coming up behind him. Oh, Scott McFall going off onto the grass there. Recovers it well, though. Didn't lose out too much. If the camera catches up, we should see AMH. That's also a very good battle going on here with Ayatal and Shadowstalker DBS. Shadow Stork at 11. He's keeping up. Oh, good move down the inside here. Doesn't have the drive to pull the move off though, unfortunately. So he stays in 11th. But AMH is not running away from these guys. Heavy on the brakes into turn one. And you get yourself lined up. Oh, bit of a mistake there from WRT Edu. I think he might have just locked up the front. All just about concentration. He do back on the charge. WRT Fabres, six seconds. In the lead at the moment very very good performance from him Does look like Jamie is catching up to NGR Lee here as well. I 
There's only about a second between second and third at the moment. Bit of a lock up from Jamie there. Both him and Edu going out onto the grass. There's Boy Raxa. If he's going to be able to close the gap to Edu. Some large puddles forming on the track now. We're on lap 10 of 25. Oh, and the gap has closed here as well. definitely want to stick with these he won't want to let them run away too much and JR Lee going to have to defend very very well from Jamie here Oh, that could have been, could have been a cut track there for Jamie. Doesn't look like anything has been issued. Maybe he did, and he's he's just not going to take it. Edu overshoots that. Oh, he overshoots again. Edu seems to be struggling a little bit here. Which is good news for Boy Rack, so that should allow him to catch up. Edu again getting out sideways. I don't, again, I don't know if it's that lag. That's lag though, actually. Boyrock's going for a sweeping line through the corner there. We're not forgetting with each lap that passes, the conditions just get harder and harder to drive on. So Jamie does seem all oh, very oh needs to be very careful, almost lost it there. But Jamie seems to be very, very quick through the final sector. But he's just not able to get down the side of NGR late. And Fabrez is just putting more time in between him and second place. It's now 10 seconds. Up. Sorry about that. So let's stay on board here with Jamie as he goes through this section. He 
who's not too far behind them now as well. This could turn into a very, very close battle for second. We're on lap 14 of 25. Oh, Lee goes out a little bit wide. Edu is going to try and get down the inside. He wasn't able to make it happen. So stays behind Jamie, but Jamie now knows that Edu is here. Edu's going for a move down the inside. He's not able to make it happen. This has allowed Boy Raxa to close the ranks as well. And all NGR Lee can do is look in his mirror and just keep going the best he can. Credit to these guys, they're keeping it very, very clean at the moment. On board with Edu here, he's going to try and go for a move down the inside. It's free wide, this could end in misery. Oh, it looked like it was free wide. They sorted it out before the corner came. Just sent something is coming now. How long can these boys keep it up? Uh, AMH is up to seventh as well. Scott McFall is about six seconds off these guys, five seconds off these guys. Jamie is just not letting NGR Lee run away though. They're now side by side going onto the home straight. side by side than that Jamie FL30 battling now with Edu yeah, door handle to door handle there are four cars battling out for second place now Oh, boy, Rax are coming for a move on. Oh, we do on the grass. Oh, slots back in very late there. Again, Jamie and Lee side by side. Oh, three wide. I'm just closing my eyes. And Lee and Jamie really scrapping it out.
Oh no, was that a, was that a push on Lee? I don't know if Lee was maybe pushed out the way there. It was hard to see really. Jamie for 30 now into second. WRT Edu into third. Oh, NGR Lee coming back with a good move there though. Gets past Boy Raxa. So I think NGR Lee's like, if that's how we're going to do it, boys, that's how we're going to do it. Huge puddle there on the exit of corner two. So do need to be careful about that. Oh, what's that? What's going on? Jamie and Edu scrapping out. Frustrations probably building. I think it's six of one half dozen of the other by the looks of it from the angles we're watching though. And Jolly on a right attack here. Oh no, locks up a little bit. Side by side with Edu. Well, this is turning into a proper Clio Cup race now. Do try and keep it clean though, boys. So, Jamie now in second. Edu slots into third. Here comes NGR Lee now into third. So, Edu in fourth. Boy Raxa still in fifth, but holding on. I think he's just keeping out of the way, to be honest. We're on lap 19 with 25. So will things calm down just a little bit now? <laughs> so lap 20. Duvalti Fabra is still in first. Jamie F for 30 second. Closely followed by NGR Lee and WRT Edu and Boy Raxa. As WRT Scott McFordian coming to the shot there as well. Just approaching corner one now. Oh, goes out a little bit too much into the gravel. Gets the car going there, doesn't that lose out too much? But the battle for second carries on. Oh, Edu made a mistake there. That's allowed Boy Raxa. Oh, was that a touch? I think Boy Raxa eases off, though. Locks him back on. is to race in these conditions though there's spray everywhere oh look at this though NGR Lee now into second Jamie for 30 back into second Edu trying to get in on this action as well they are going to be three are oh, they going to make it four wide for the first corner oh no NGR Lee goes out a little bit wide there gets back going though down in fifth 
He hasn't lost out too much though. He's still with these guys. And the charge he had a couple of laps ago. He could definitely challenge for second again. Oh, we do get now goes out wide. He's on the grass. He's kept it going though. Side by side with Boy Raxa. All of them. Oh, there's cards up there. It gets a little bit wobbly. He's kept the car going. Uh, Boy Raxa flashes lights. I'm not sure whether that was to say sorry for the contact. But I tell you what, I can't call this at the moment. Up 22. There's that huge puddle. Oh, I think that's lag. Scott McFall's catching up to these as well. There's a tiny, tiny little bit of breathing space between the drivers now. way past the BRT Edu. Oh, very, very close. to take the line through the puddle very very brave oh he do going for a move down the inside here as he made it stick oh he do that is not good that is definitely pushing So now NGR Lee back into second, followed by Boy Raxa, JMF for 30, and WRT Edu. And they're about to start their penultimate lap. I think it's safe to say that Fabraz has definitely won this race. Oh, we do moving out to go on the grass there. That is, could end up dangerous, though. Oh, no. What's happened here? was four now there's two battling for second place Would Scott McFall be able to catch up? He certainly has, thanks to what happened at corner one. I'm not too sure what really happened. It looked like Jamie might have clipped the tyres. We 
Bidu goes out wide onto the gravel. That's going to lose him some time. And that was AMH actually, he was just going around the first corner then. This is the final lap. Who is going to get second? So Fabraz has crossed the line in first. And Jarli only has a couple more corners to hold on. He was unlucky not to get a podium last week. I think he's going to do it this week though. Yes he will. Flash our lights. And Jarli takes second. Edu crossed the line in third. Boyrax a fourth. Scott McFall fifth. Jamie sixth, AMH comes in at seventh, web user Johnny will take eighth, Ayatel ninth, Shadowstalker DBS, oh NGR Martin, not too sure what's happened to him but he's down in eleventh. So here is the end table just to confirm that, no time penalties for anyone. So that brings this round, round six of the Max Coates Clear Cup to an end. We do return in two weeks. Unfortunately, we won't be able to broadcast uh, the race next week, but we will return the week after that for round eight. So do join us then. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you're watching this on a replay, please do consider subscribing to the channel and we'll catch you all very soon for more Project Cars 2 action from the Clear Cup. Until then, take care and thank you for joining in.